Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to highlight the duplicates in two columns. So I've got two columns in this table. It could be a lot more. But these are the two I'm interested in. If both the date and the amount are the same, it is a duplicate. So in the case of the first two rows, they are duplicates, the date and the amount are the same. The third row is not, because the date is the same, but the amount is different. And I want to highlight these cells in a different colour to identify them. So I'm going to begin by writing a formula in column C. And then I'm going to copy that into a conditional formatting rule to change its colour. But I want to use the formula in a cell first. So we've got an, an opportunity sorry, to walk through it and explain each element. Now the function I'm going to use is the quite brilliant sum product function. For anybody who's watched my videos for a while, you will probably be familiar with this to an extent because I talk about it a lot to handle any complex problems I come across in my Excel spreadsheets. It is a very powerful, very versatile function, and I'm going to ensure that I put a couple of links in the description of this video so you can access some of my previous blog posts. Uh, so if you wanted to learn more about this, if you're quite new to this function, then you can explore a little bit more through the description of this video. I'll also put a copy of this formula right now in the description as well. So you can simply copy that formula and adapt it to what you want. Okay, right now though, let's get this sum product function going and I'll need a second opening bracket to start up an array as they are asking. And in this array, I'm going to use a count if function. I want to know if these are duplicates. So I want to know if they occur more than once. I'm only going to know that by counting them. So the range of cells is the range of dates. And I will make that range absolute with the dollar signs, my F4 key there. So what I did, my F4 key. Comma, moves on to criteria. I'm checking that first um, date cell. I want to know if that date is in that range. Count how many times it occurs in that range. Close bracket for the count if function greater than one. Does that date in that range occur more than once, i.e. is it duplicated? Close bracket for that first condition, that first array. And then the multiply sign, the asterisk. That can be used within some products to create a kind of and logic. Do both these arrays, are they both true? That's what I'm going for here. Second opening bracket here. Or not the second one, that's, that's completely incorrect. <laughs> but an extra ray. If this is feeling a little bit much for you at the moment, this some product to be quite new, please explore those other links I just mentioned. But persevering for now, it's another count if function. Because now I'm checking the amount column, which I'll also make absolute, comma. And it's a very similar story here. So I'm kind of picking up the speed a bit, but I'm looking for B2 in there. Close bracket, greater than 1. So really I'm checking here, how many times does a date occur, is it more than once? And also, how many times does the amount occur, is it more than once? Close bracket for that array. Close bracket for the sum product function. And I'll press enter and copy it down. So this sum product function at the moment, if it identifies a duplicate, it results in a one. If it doesn't, it results in a zero. So I've kind of identified them already. I could be happy with that. I can just filter for the ones or something like that. But I ultimately want to change the color of these cells. So I've gone back into that function in cell C2. And at the end of it, I'm going to put equals 1. Does it equal 1? So now, when I run that and copy it down, I've got true and false instead of 1 and 0. 
and that's going to be important because I want to copy this formula into my conditional formatting rule and that conditional formatting rule is only going to understand the words true or false so I need this to say true this formula for that to work now when I do the conditional formatting I'm going to highlight the entire table so it changes colour of the row now the row is only two columns right now it could be many columns for you there is no difference now when I highlight that I'm going to need to make sure that my references don't stray so one last change to my formula and that is going to be to put a dollar sign before the A of the A2 reference and before the B of the B2 reference so I'm leaving the row relative as it's officially known so look at all the rows in that column but I'm leaving the column uh, with yeah sorry I'm fixing the column to say look don't move off the column stay on that column but please check the other rows now when I press enter right now that doesn't make any difference to this but the key thing here now is that I'm going to take a copy of that formula normal copy here just control C or right click copy I'll press escape to get out of that formula and I'm going to highlight up my table I'm ignoring this column because I'm going to get rid of it in a minute and I'm going in for a conditional formatting rule new rule use the formula and I'll paste the formula I want inside that box I'm then going to pick what formatting I want and I'm going to go for a, a, a kind of let's go for an orangey colour <laughs> that'll do click OK and I'll click OK again and there we have it the duplicates have been identified with an element of formatting they've been highlighted I've gone for this colour and that has worked I no longer need this column in column C that can be deleted if you so choose to because uh, the goal is now complete I wanted to just write it in there first so that I could talk through the formula and get a bit of help writing it if I made a mistake and I can copy it into my rule later on I hope you find this video useful highlighting duplicates in two columns if you did please check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com